Hello, this is Chucky and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to take you through Microsoft Windows Movie Maker Live and today I'm going to show you how to use titles versus captions and what the difference is. So let's start with the Home tab. When we're in the Home tab you can see that there is a title and a caption. And well, for the most part there's actually even credits too, which of course can either go at the end or they can go at the beginning. A title has a one color background. So if we click on title right here, it's going to make a background for us and we can type in whatever it is that we want. My movie is fine for right now. Let's start from left to right. We have here the different font families. We have the font sizes. We have the color and of course all the other things associated with fonts. You have the transparency. How much of the font are you going to be able to see? The justification and you can even select the start time and the duration of your actual title screen. So that's all it is. It's a title screen and it has a color behind it. Now, the main difference between the title and the caption is the caption goes over the video. So let's go back to our home tab right here and then I'm going to add a caption. I'm going to move my playhead first of all and I'm going to drag it over the video, part of the video where I'm speaking right here, and then I'm going to select caption. And as you can see, it puts a little text box right there on top of the video. And we can type in the same thing, my movie, and you have the same from left to right, the same different attributes. You have your font, the size, transparency, the start time and duration again. So really that's the only difference between the title and a caption. Now of course on top of the title and the caption you also have different types of credits. So if you want to give the starring or who the director is some credits, normally the credits go at the end. So if I want to move my playhead right here, I can drag this playhead all the way to the end and then I can give some credits right here, click the down arrow, and then have some credits at the very end and then put people's names in there. I could put an actual credit in there. Maybe I wanted to put starring at the very beginning and I can drag this right up there and it becomes a movie title right there except it is starring and then you could put your cast at the very front if you want to. I'm going to clean up some of these titles and these credits. They're getting a little bit too much for me right here and we can't see a whole lot so I'm going to delete these by right clicking and selecting remove here. And there we have our original video that's back there. Now let's say I wanted to put a title directly in the middle of it because I'm introducing a player. Maybe it's a basketball game and I'm introducing a player. Well, there's a couple ways that you can do this. You can put the caption on top of the person playing. I could drag the playhead over here and we could just put the caption right here over the person that's playing or if you wanted to actually stop the video and introduce the person you could move the playhead right there. We could right click on this and we could select split over here. It would split the video and then we could add a title right in the middle. So what it would do is it would play the video and then it would go to a blank screen right here. You could put their name, maybe their number, their jersey number, and then after this is done playing, it would go back into the original video. So that's the main differences. Let's go back to the home tab right here between the title, captions and credits, and how you can actually use a title to split a video into two parts and introduce somebody with a black title screen. This is Chucky and I hope you enjoyed that quick tip on Movie Maker Live. Cheers!